Hey there, everybody. Lord Pokey Smoke back with another great video. Uh, I've had a, a lot of secret layers coming in recently, and I have not really had a chance to go ahead and open them. So I have a kind of a backlog of them sitting here in front of me today. Uh, and I haven't really had chances to make that many videos lately either. So this is going to be a pretty laid back, relaxing video. We're just going to pop open uh, six different secret layers that we have in front of us today. And so if you want to uh, just kick back, relax, grab a, uh, grab a beverage maybe, uh, we'll look through these cards, we'll see how they look, uh, see some of the texture on them, and um, get into it. So let's take a sip and jump right in. So uh, like I said, there's going to be six different secret layers we're opening up today because I have been just had them piling up uh, in my room lately. So first of all, we have special guest uh, Kellogg's Loops. I think that's how you say it, maybe not. Um, then we're going to open up the Tokyo Lands, the foil version of that. Excited for that one. Those look really nice, I think. Then we have the Dan Fraser Allied Talisman, uh, foiled etched. And then the Dan Fraser Ally, uh, Enemy Talismans, foil etched. We're going to have the Nils Ham. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right, too. Artist Series. And then we're going to go with the uh, Dominaria United uh, Stained Glass showcase edition and if you don't know what that is i actually i won't spoil it till we get to the end but we will do that one last because i am very excited to see those but uh without further ado let's rip some of these open so these are all the kind of new style packaging which i i sort of like they take up a lot less room they're you know a lot less harsh on the environment but i'm, I'm a little bit curious about how if they uh, hold the cards together as much okay that's pretty cool I wonder if that's something by Kellogg's Loops himself or herself. I'm not sure. Okay, so we just have these kind of sliding around here. Oh, man. That's a beautiful card already. So I'll take that out. Is there an extra card? No. Okay. So I'm not sure if there's supposed to be an extra card or there'll be one on the back here. So let's crack this open. It's so much harder opening stuff on camera than... Uh, <laughs> It is when you're not on camera. Oh, there we go. Alrighty. So first we have Mystic Remora. If any of you, if any of you guys aren't uh, Magic players, this is a very playable card, especially in Commander. Basically, um, it you when your opponents play cards or non-creature spells, you draw cards unless they pay four, which they can almost never play four. And look at that beautiful artwork on this. Uh, apparently, I'll go through the story behind the Mystic Remora quickly as I go through the other ones. Apparently, though, um, oops, the the fish. So when it was first made, they you know Remora refers to I think like a spell, but it also is a type of fish. And I think when they gave it to the artist, he drew a fish instead of the actual like spell. And so it's just kind of been a fish since then, or, or something of that nature. Um, Retreat to Coral Helm. All oh, the the art on these are just beautiful burgeoning and a lot of these are very playable so that's kind of why i picked these up they're both playable and they're just gorgeous art there's kind of a it's a little damage on a lot of these see the top of that card there so not super happy with that because these are fairly pricey oh look at this beautiful one we got the fox there kind of looks like my dog a little bit we got the bunnies we have the uh the woman with the umbrella man beautiful card there utopia sprawl and oh okay so we do have a sliver here um predatory sliver so this is going to be one of the extra cards there are a lot of slivers that they've been doing as extras sliver creatures you control get plus one plus one so if you're a sliver player out there i might be selling that to you or i might hang on to it not sure yet um i guess i will sleeve these up afterwards um because i want to make sure that this video isn't too entirely long i just want to show all the cards so this one's going to be the tokyo lands this is going to be five lands for, I think it was like 40 bucks. So not a great price per land, but these are again, beautiful. Okay. I like how these are all a little bit different. Oh, don't want to be bending that. Thank you for being part of Secret Lair. And then we have the Tokyo lands. Oh man. I'm not sure if you can see those in person, but those are very nice looking. They kind of have that like foil at, is this traditional? It says traditional foil, but looks like they kind of have that etching let's take them out of the pack and take a closer look here i hope see like i think they can slide around a little bit in these in these um this packaging so like I'm, i hope it doesn't make 
them so they're damaged long term but there we go because so this is obviously planes yeah so these are like this is not just the regular traditional foiling you never really know what you're going to get on a lot of these secret layers in terms of the type of foiling until you get them in but man look at this beautiful beautiful artwork on this plane so i love the tokyo land so they're all obviously a place in tokyo i've been using these in magic online for a while or sorry magic arena oh, gorgeous i really like these i have i bought a lot of these look at that swamp that's such a cool swamp to kind of do a close-up there um, if you do want any of these, I do have some extra ones and a lot of them are up on my eBay. Uh, so go check out my eBay. I'll leave a link in the description if you want any of these secret layers after you see them in this video. Um, oh, we have the forest. Look at that forest. These are gorgeous. I mean, it's expensive to buy these lands, but like they look so nice. Like look at that foiling on these. Wow. And then I have... A regular oh these are like treants trents trants ents i guess so these maybe this is one of the jumpstart lands in foil but foil kind of regular looking land there um so that is the tokyo lands man those are gorgeous all right moving on to the next one here we have Dan Fraser is back with the allied talisman. So we're going to have the allied and then the enemy talismans. If you, again, if you don't play magic, what these talismans are, they are the, um, they give you two colors of mana. Uh, they're artifacts. And Dan Fraser, you'll see, you'll notice here, Dan Fraser is the guy that did all the original Moxon. So these are kind of the, the, um, a lot of different ones there. So these are kind of the, you know, his reimagining, kind of in the style of the original Moxon um, in, uh, for the Talisman. So we will go ahead and pop this open. And so it's going to be allied and enemy colors. If you don't know, at the allied colors in Magic are on the color wheel, the ones right next to each other, and the enemy ones are the ones that don't touch each other. So um, every allied color has, every color has two allied colors and two enemy colors, obviously. So... This one is uh, the Talisman of Progress. And man, look at that etching on that. These are really nice looking cards. And these seem to be in pretty good condition. Wow. I mean, just gorgeous. I love, uh, you know, it's the style of the original Moxon. How can you not love it? But like, look at that beautiful. Talisman of Indulgence. We have the Talisman of Impulse. We have the oh, Talisman of Unity there. That green white, you can see the green and the white in the artwork. Actually, I think you can see all the, the double colors in the artwork there. And then, oh, a Felwar Stone. Okay, so I guess this is the extra. So sometimes they will have the same artist do like a specific extra um, for these. And sometimes it'll be random ones. Like we just saw the sliver in the land in this one and the other one. But this is the, they had Dan Fraser come in to do the Felwar Stone, which is an artifact you pay to. And then it comes in that can produce mana that of the color that uh, your opponent can make. So that's a very nice reimagining of that. Um, I'll try to set these up at the end so you can see all of them, but we are going to go on. So these are going to be very similar. These are going to be this, basically the same as what we just saw, but all in the enemy colors. So I can look at these all day. Oh, so every time different thank yous in there. That's, that's pretty nice. Let's put these on the ground because my desk is getting a little bit <laughs> messed up there. All right. Oh man, look at that. The white, black. That's beautiful. Okay, let's get these out of there. Okay, holsters here into the light, into the oxygen. Oh, and we knocked our camera a little bit. Someday I'll have a legitimate uh, filming setup. Okay, so we have Talisman of Hierarchy. Again, the foil, the etch foiling that they've been doing is, is really nice. I mean, it's, it's not like... Honestly, Pokemon does a lot better, <laughs> um, and a lot of other card games do a lot better, but at least they're catching up, and it does look beautiful. So there's Creativity, that's the red-blue one. We have Talisman of Resilience, that's green-black, and you have the nice, the bug there, the bug talisman. 
I wonder if this will be Felwar for our extra. We have a red white talisman, the Boros one for a talisman of conviction. We have the talisman of curiosity. Wow. Oh, you can I didn't even notice that it's blue in the middle there. And then are we gonna have Felwar stone again? Okay, so got a couple Felwar stones. So I guess in all of these it's gonna be Felwar stone as the extra that Dan Fraser drew. So that is extremely nice again there. So there's a, both of the Dan Fraser, so now all 10 of the talismans I have in kind of the, the Moxon style done by the original Moxon artist. The artist series, Nils Ham. I, I think, actually I don't really remember what this one is. I think I kind of remember, but we'll see. We will see. I'm trying to go through these quick, because I'm not trying to do, a, well, nice. Takes me back to school. <laughs> I'm trying to do a super long video here today. Oh, okay, yep, yeah, I know which one this is. Um, actually, who cares? Just sit back and relax and, and enjoy these artworks. But do stick around to the end because I think the last one is going to be really cool and I'm really excited for the last one. But this one should be cool too. I remember this one, again, it's, it's like, so some of the secret layers, they look really nice. They're all kind of, you know, your own, do you like them or not? But some of them look really nice, but they don't have a lot of playable cards. Um, a lot of the ones that I got do have a lot of playable ones. So especially the first one we looked at in this one, I believe there's a lot of playable ones. So we have, all of these have, they're going to have this little guy up here. So let's, let's, so this little guy, he's, he's swimming with some mermaids down here. The fish are watching him. Um, so this is deep, close state, skate, deep, close skate. Oh, and at the bottom of all of these, we have some um, some traditional classical literature quotes. At the bottom of this one, we have Homer, the Odyssey. We have Tireless Tracker. This is a playable card. Um, so you investigate whenever land comes in, and you uh, can put a plus one, plus one when you sacrifice a clue. And this guy's riding a little... Uh, he's got a, got a frog <laughs> costume on, and he's riding a little... Ostrich? What? I don't know. That, that's not an ostrich, but some kind of mythical creature. Contagion Engine. This is another one that uh, I think... Uh, I forget. I think this has some combos with it. So we got the little frog people again. So these guys are in all of them. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. There's Contagion going on. There's... Yeah. And we have the raven deep into the darkness peering. Long I stood there wondering, fearing. If, uh, if any of you want me to make videos just reading you classical poetry, uh, I can do that too. Uh, Sword of Truth and Justice. So um, if one of the one of the five, I think there are five swords. Um, so this is one of the five swords. We have this lady coming out of the depths here. This ducks ducks watching the entire scene right there, uh, and giving the sword to our little frog man human. And this one has a quote from Le Mort d'Arthur. And what's our extra gonna be? Oh. Uh, so this is a tireless tracker. It looks different. Well, hold on, where's our tireless tracker? Oh, so we have a tireless tracker, which is an extra here, but it is different than this tireless tracker. This is more like watercolory. It's a little bit different creature there too, as we can see. I'm gonna show them side by side. That's cool. I'm not entirely sure what the deal with this one is like what is oh why it's different man i keep bumping my camera again sorry for that someday we'll have a more professional setup where i can't just bump my camera and almost knock things over all right and then we have our last one here so i'm, I'm excited for this one this is showcase dominary united stained glass foil edition Let's open this one up. Sorry about that. I thought, uh, thought my camera stopped recording for a second, and I was like, oh no, how long ago did it do that? But it is still going. So, every one of these. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, oh, there we go. I've, I've been excited to see these and what kind of the foiling on them is. So this, uh, I'll open it up, but you may, if you are a fan of old magic, uh, you may already know what this one's going to be. So this, uh, this secret layer is a reimagining 
of the original five Elder Dragons from the Legend set. And a lot of these, I think, are either like their second printing ever or their first like printing that's not just the original Elder Dragons. So the original Elder Dragons, obviously, that's where the name uh, EDH, Elder Dragon Highlander, gets the name. And so we have Arcady Sabbath, and in the original, you know, incarnation of EDH, you could only use one of these five as your commander. Um, EDH became the commander format. We have Chromium there. Very nice looking. I was hoping these were going to be, like, textured on the inside of the foiling too, but it doesn't look like they are. I don't know why Magic hasn't, like, figured out how to do that when, you know, Pokemon's been doing that since, like, 2012. Um... But nonetheless, these are beautiful, and this is the the man himself, the legend, Nicol Bolas, one of the most uh, feared characters in all of MTG lore. We have Vivictus Asmadi, um, and I think these aren't too powerful anymore, but the, back in the day, these were very powerful, multicolor. And then I think the last, but definitely not least, Palladium Wars. Beautiful cards. Oh, oh nice, we got the Reliquary Tower. Okay, so these, this is, um, they're like sketch cards for, these, these were going for a little bit when they first came out, but I think they've been pushing out a lot of them. So I think people thought they're gonna be rare when they first came out, and it doesn't look like they are too rare. So that is all six of the secret layers. Let me let me line these five up so you can see. We'll do we'll do the five elder dragons up here. I honestly kind of like the Tokyo lands the best. Oh, let me okay, let's get this let's get this out of here. Um, so yeah, that that was really the video. Um, I guess we can let me, let's let's look at these Tokyo lands again because man, like. These seem to have the kind of foiling that I thought they were going to have on these cards. So I'm not sure if you can really tell the difference. These, I mean, these have the foiling over the text boxes, but on the actual artwork themselves, there's no, like, etching. It's just pure hollow. Well, these are, like, etched throughout the card, and I think it looks way better. Like, look how the light hits that. It's just beautiful. Um, but overall, very happy that I picked all these up. And again, I do have extras, and I, I have some listed on my eBay, but not all of them. So if you do want one and you don't see it listed on my email, um, send me a message. Either shoot me a message on... Uh, you can either hit me up in the comments, or you can actually... Um, Lord Pokey Smoke. I am on Instagram under the same name. Find me on Instagram. Throw me a uh, follow for that shameless self-plug. And uh, ask me if I have any of these left to sell you because I just might. Like, look, like, uh, and it just looks so good. I wish they had done that with uh, with the Elder Dragons. Like, if Nicol Bolas had the same sort of, like, texturing on his face that, like, the sidewalk does, the crosswalk, man, that would be something. Still, beautiful cards. So, yeah, that's really going to be all for today. Thanks for coming. Thanks for hanging out and joining me on this uh, journey. And uh, yeah, have a great rest of your day, y'all.